today we have a new coffee by Bay Coffee Roasters for you to check out. So welcome back to Coffee with GPA. Now this particular coffee has got an awesome story behind it and I'm not gonna go too much into that because I want you to check out the Wild Keepers on Instagram to see everything that's going on with those guys. Now to set the pace, they are an extended member of my family and they're doing an amazing job of building their own eco home up just outside the Brecon Beacons in South Wales. Now they also have a web store with plenty of eco-friendly products on there. If you're big into those eco-friendly things or you know the vegan side of things, they're gonna really appeal to you. And this is one of the products that they've made available on there. Roasted by Bay Coffee Roasters in the Cardigan Bay area. Now, the cool thing about this is that it does have an amazing backstory that I do urge you all to check out on Instagram or check the link below also. But it's a great coffee. Now, this is actually an Ethiopian Sadamu. Now, Ethiopian Sadamu coffees are very similar to the Yergeshef ones, in my opinion. They have a very earthy feel to them. They're very slightly sweet, slightly fruity on the same side, but it's the earthy type of flavors that you get as a big boost. Now, initially, I'll, I'll be perfectly upfront, I don't get that excited by coffees from either the Stami region or the Yergeshef region. But obviously, because it's an you know, extended family on my behalf, I wanted to try it out. And if you can see this from the story that's behind it, it all makes sense. And I'll be perfectly honest, it made me completely change the way that I saw this coffee. Let's give this a try first and foremost. Let's make this up. Now it is a pre-ground coffee, this one. So not a lot of effort goes into making it, which is another big step in that eco environment. Let's make one, let's see what it tastes like and let's see what some of those smells are as well. Okay, and there is our Welsh coffee. Now, I'm really proud of coffees that come from the local area. Uh, Bay Coffee Roasters are a fairly new one to me as well, but a great roaster. And the fragrances that you get as soon as you open the bag do hit you in the face, just like you'd expect any good Ethiopian coffee too. But we've got our coffee, so let's see what we actually get from this. And again, that earthy smell comes to the fore first and foremost. And it's just such a pleasant coffee. Now I'll tell you why I had to rethink my thought process on this. Now, as I said, Ethiopian Sadamu coffees, similar to Yergeshef, do have a very earthy type of feel. Now, where that's quite important for this, ultimately, what they're trying to do is get back to basics, get back to the kind of earthy atmosphere that all of us sort of crave a little bit. We don't like any of this madness that's currently going on. And it has made us reevaluate some of the things that are important to us in particular, enjoying our surroundings as best as we can with the restrictions that we have. And when I started thinking about the progress that Dan and Tess have made with this eco property, their web store, and how they're starting to move forward and create their lives for themselves, it made me kind of think that this coffee suits it so perfectly, it fits that puzzle piece to that story. It is very earthy. It's very down to the ground. It just it's really calming. And I think that's important when you're thinking about how any product should make you feel when it's on behalf of a particular brand or a particular storyline. This fits in with it so well. And, you know, maybe a Sadamu coffee takes on a whole new meaning when you see it in harmony with what Dan and Tess have created. And again, it's, it's got a slight touch of bitterness on the back note, but then it becomes really smooth. There's no harshness to it. It's just a well-balanced coffee. I can imagine sitting out looking over the hills in the Brecon Beacons, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying myself with this. Just very relaxing, very calming, very balanced. It's a really, really well-crafted coffee. And I love the artwork on it as well. It just kind of suits everything about this whole project down to a T. Check out Bay Coffee Roasters. I'll leave the description in the link below and also don't forget to follow Dan and Tess's adventures as the Wild Keepers on Instagram. I hope you get a chance to try this coffee and you get to check out the Eco Home and the Eco products that they're creating. 
Hopefully 2021 brings us much more happiness and much more opportunity to do some of the things that we've lacked over the last year. And I can't wait to share this video with you and see you all again next year. Take care everyone, see you soon.